Let's see how we can commit code in our local machine and how we can push from our project to GitHub. First, log into GitHub, or if you don't have an account, just click on sign up. Check the link in the description. It will show you how you can sign up if you don't know how you can sign up. Now, sign in. And once you are in GitHub, we need to make a new repository where we can push our project, right? So click on this new here. Okay, so <laughs> GitHub is having issues. Let me go back again and let's click on new again. Okay, so it worked this time. And let's give a name to your repository. You can give it your project name. So let's call it my new ROJ. And this is going to be a public repository. If you want, you can make it private so that others cannot see it. And let's just make it public for now. And just click create repository. Okay, so GitHub is having some problems at the moment. I'll try again. Create repository. Okay, so what is the issue? Let's see if making private repository works. Now, GitHub is having some issues. Okay, it's still not working. Let's try again. It's an odd time for GitHub to have issues. Okay, so let's go back again. Then I click on repository name, my new PROJ. Yes, we are OJ. Click on create new repository and let's hope it is created this time. Okay, finally it is created. So now once we have our repository ready, let's go to our project, right? So if you don't have a project, you can just create a new project here and let's call it new git project, right? Go inside your project. I have no file here. So just for the sake of this demo, I'll create a new file and let's call this my file.txt, right? So we have our projects here. Let's say you have this project and you have multiple files here. Now we need to initialize a Git repository here. So hold shift and right click and open Git bash here. If you don't have Git bash already installed, check the link in the description. It will show you how you can install Git. All right, now, as you can see, I'm inside my project folder here. If you are on Linux or Mac, you can just open terminal and go inside your Git project. Now here, first command is Git init. So what this does is this makes this a uh, git repository now if i refresh this as you can see dot git folder is created now once we have our git repository here we can push from here to here that is to github so let's go back to our project here and just creating a repository is not enough we need to commit our changes that means whatever changes we have committed those are the changes that will push to github so i say git add dot this means that track all the files. So all the files that are in your project, changes in those files will be tracked, okay? So after adding the files, commit. That means that all the changes that are done here will be pushed after the commit is done. So we write in it, let's say first commit. And now I can do git remote add origin. This means that when you do the push command, where should it be pushed? To which repository? And our repository is, as you can see, this repository. So we do this and hit enter. And now when we do the push command, this is the repository to which our code will be pushed. So the command is git push origin. This is the origin, right? And to which branch do we push? Let's say we push to master. Hit enter. So as you can see, the push is now complete. And if I go back here and reload this, as you can see, my file.txt is here. Now, if I click on this, it's going to be empty because we have not written anything in our file. Okay. So this is the basic process. And we will see why commit is important in just one more minute. So we do git init. And then we add all the files that we need to track. And then we do some changes and then commit those changes and then we push those changes, right? So, and of course, where do we push? We push the changes here. Now, let's say we want to change the file and let's say I write, this is new here, right? And I save it, close this. And if I push again without committing, what will happen? Let's see, it says everything is up to date because we have not yet committed. So after the change is done, we commit again and we say new change here. And then we push again to our master branch. And this time the change will be pushed. As you can see, it is pushed. 
and now if I reload as you can see this is new is coming in this myfile.txt so this is how you can commit and push to github if you have any questions let me know in the comments below